people lost their jobs. And investors were encouraged by that job news, leading to a very strong trading day to round out the week. The Dow finished up more than 180 points to close at 20,071, back over 20,000. The Nasdaq was up 30 points to finish at 5667, and the S&P 500 was up 16 points to end at 2297. Market analysis tonight, Todd Peters is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Todd. Good evening, Mike. So we ended on a strong note. What was the catalyst behind today's gains? Yeah, the uh, so-called Trump rally appeared to be losing some momentum here these past uh, week or two, but we did get a nice boost today from two reports that showed that the U.S. economy actually remains on some pretty firm footing. Uh, as you mentioned, we also saw that President Trump signed an executive action to uh, repeal or uh, modify parts of Dodd-Frank that helped push up the financial services sector about a percent and a half. And finally, we got some comments from the president of the Chicago Federal Reserve Bank, Charles Evans, who reiterated his view that any future rate hikes would take place on a so-called gra gradual path. So we had good uh, news on a number of fronts today. All right. So you mentioned a couple of uh, key economic reports. We reported on one of them a minute ago, the jobs report. Uh, what struck you most about those numbers? Uh, there were good job creation numbers, but the unemployment did tick up a little bit. Yeah, it did tick up, but again, that's a good sign. I mean, if you look at 227,000 jobs being created, that uh, handily beat estimates. And while this is very good news for the newly employed and also our economy, it's actually creating a little bit of a strain on some businesses. Many simply cannot find qualified candidates to fill certain slots or they're having to pay more to lure them over to the new job. And we see that a lot in New England. Now, did the report shed any light on the quality of jobs being created? It did. I'll give you a couple examples. I mean, construction firms added about 36,000 workers. We also saw financial services firms add about 32,000. And Mike, these tend to be better paying jobs and in a, uh, you know, a consumer oriented economy like ours, that's some really good news. All right, Macy's uh, got a lot of attention today. Uh, what did you see at Macy's? Yeah, the stock jumped more than 6%. Uh, they're in uh, at least preliminary talks with a Canadian company called Hudson Bay about a possible acquisition. Now, Macy's has really struggled uh, over the past couple of years as consumer buying habits have changed, people buying more online. They're also coping with a pretty large debt level on their balance sheet. And Hudson Bay owns other department stores, right? And some of our competitors are Macy's. They do, uh, Lord and & Taylor and Saks Fifth Avenue. And there's some view that Hudson Bay is not only looking at the Macy's brand, but also looking at the extensive real estate holdings, uh, which some estimate could be worth up to $20 billion. Mm. All right, uh, briefly, what are you looking for in next week, Todd? Next week, we'll get a report on consumer credit, another on consumer sentiment, and finally, the JOLTS report, job openings, and labor turnover. We'll look for all of that. Have a great weekend and enjoy that Super Bowl, Todd. You too, Mike. Thank you. Todd Peters from Advisor Investments. In